Hello, 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 my beautiful darlings. Welcome back to another tutorial. So to get started on this cloud, like rainbowy look, I'm going to first of all apply some sticky tape to the corner of my eyes. This is to create a nice guide for that really crisp outer corner. To prime my eyelids, I'm going in with my classic jumbo pencil in milk and applying that all over the lids, all the way to my brow bone. So I want that whole surface area to be covered in that white cream base. I want it to create a nice blank canvas for the eyeshadows to stick to, cover up any veins or redness, and also it really allows the eyeshadows to show up true to their color and really, really vibrant and pigmented, which is of course what we want with this rainbow look. Next, taking these two shadows from the Chi Chi Pride palette, one is a pinky cool tone shade and the other is a burgundy shade. And I'm applying that with a 227 crease brush from Zoeva just right along that tape kind of mimicking a smoky liner look but building up to be a little bit thicker next I'm taking this beautiful red shade from again the same Chi Chi Pride palette and again going in with the same brush I'm applying that right next to the burgundy shade and building up that pigment so it's nice and vibrant I am kind of creating little divots along the top of the eye as well to mimic that cloud shape so as you can see it's not one straight line across that brow it's going in and creating little bumps along mimicking a cloud shape as you guys will see as I start to build up more and more colors then I'm going back in with that pink shade and just kind of blending the burgundy and the red shade together so they're nice and seamless a tip with this look is to try and get the shadows to melt together so you can't tell where one shadow begins and one ends so do go back and forth throughout this look and blend each color together Next I'm going in with Flame Point from Sugar Pill. It's a beautiful orange shadow, very, very vibrant. And I'm applying that with a petite crease brush from Zoeva. Again, just building that right next to the red and blending it in so they just melt together. Then taking Buttercup Cake from Sugar Pill again. It's a beautiful, very, very vibrant yellow. I loved it with this look. It's just mm, so beautiful. And I applied that with a petite crease brush right next to the orange. I did find the yellow was harder to blend in with the other colors because it is so light. So I went back and forth between the orange and the yellow to try and get a nice seamless blend between the two. But it did take a little bit more time than when I was blending you know, the orange, red and burgundy together. Once you've blended the colors nice and seamlessly together and you're happy with how it's going, you're going to take a green shadow. I'm using the Pride palette again and this beautiful kind of limey green shadow and applying that right next to the yellow. Again, it was a little bit harder to blend the green and the yellow together. It did work out eventually, but I did have to go back and forth a fair few times between the yellow and the green to get my desired look. And again, with this step, you don't actually need to bring the green onto the eyelid. So I just kept it right in that crease area, as you can see, kind of in the inner socket. Um, and didn't bring it onto the eyelid because that's where we're going to start mapping out the cloud afterwards. So I'm keeping that area blank. Again, once you've blended your shadows to your desired pigmentation, we're going to grab these two blue shades from the Chi Chi Pride palette and on a petite crease brush again, I'm packing that on the inner socket of the eye. Not quite the inner corner, but almost basically the inner corner. Packing that next to the green and again go back and forth between the green and the blues to get your desired blend between the two. And I'm not bringing it on the lid as you can see, just keeping it in that socket area. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going in with Ice Queen and Pegasus, mixing the two together to get a very, very like light blue shade and applying that to my inner corner for an inner corner highlight. And for my brow bone highlight, I'm just taking Ice Queen on a pencil brush and applying that to the very high points of the brow just to give it a bit of a pop and allow those shadows to kind of blend a little bit more seamlessly. Once you've done that we're going to go in with um, some of the Jumbo Pencil in Milk again on an eye concealer brush and we're going to start mapping out the cloud shape. Now I first off started with this eye concealer brush but I found it just wasn't like flexible enough to get the details of the cloud, like the fluffiness of the cloud. So I went in with this lip brush from Eeg Show and oh my lord, it just made the whole thing so much easier. Just using this lip brush, it was more flexible. It gave me more of a crisper uh, curve to the cloud shape, as you guys can see. 
and it just was a lot easier to work with. So I do recommend using a lip brush or something like that um, to do this look with. So as you can see, I went back and just fixed up that cloud on my other eye with the Eeg Show brush, which I do have a discount code for you guys if you want to purchase any of their brushes. I'll leave that down below for you. So what I did was I filled in the cloud on a diagonal shape. So you guys can see we've kind of created a diagonal look to this eye with the shadows. So I filled in the inner third of the eye and kind of just blended it on a diagonal shape so you could still see those shadows on the outer corner. I hope that makes sense. Like you can see what I've done here. I faded it into those shadows. Then to fill in the cloud, I'm taking this stunning pigment from Makeup Geek called Sugar Rush. And it has a little bit of blue, purple, even green reflex to it. So I thought it really matched this kind of rainbow look. And I'm applying that with a precise shader brush from Zoeva, making sure to get that nice crisp line along the edges of the cloud and fading it into the shadows on the outer corner. Next, we're going to take some of that burgundy shade we used originally on a petite crease brush. I'm building up that color right on the outer corner of our eye and blending it into the cloud shape. So there's no harsh lines and it just melts together. Then I'm also going to take some of that red shade that we used as well and I'm blending that in right next to the burgundy shade to kind of fade that cloud a little bit more. I wanted it to really just fade into the eyeshadows. I didn't want there to be a stark, obvious, like, stop line, like if that makes sense, where it just kind of stops and the cloud begins. I wanted it to fade. So I went in with those two colors on the outer corner of my eye, as you can see here. Next, for the little stars, I'm going in with some white body paint and I'm going it on that lip brush again from Eeg Show and applying those little stars. So I first of all begin with like a little cross and then I do a little like webbed effect between each cross to mimic those stars and I did about three one on the inner corner one on the brow bone and one on the outer corner and then I just put little dots amongst those to mimic like little tiny itty bitty stars so I actually did change to an eyeliner brush from Eeg Show I felt like it was easier to create these little details rather than using the um, lip brush that I used to you know draw on the clouds so it is up to you guys. You can, of course, use even like white eyeliner if you have that. I just don't have any white eyeliner. So I just used what I had, which was the body paint. paint. Uh, I can't speak today. <laughs> Once you've done that, we're going to apply some lashes. And the lashes I chose to go in today with were the Feisty Lashes from Anitude. These are so beautiful. They really complement the eye shape because we have kind of created that almond shaped eye to the look. So I liked that they were more like shorter on the inner corner, longer on the outer corner and that they didn't cover up too much of the work we've just created. They were just enough drama to kind of lift the look but not cover the look which is like the perfect medium. <laughs> So once I've done that, we're going to line our waterline. I'm going in with this nude eye coal from Models Prefer and applying that to my waterline just to really open up the eyes. I just love a good nude eye coal. You could use a white eye coal if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic and it would tie really well with that cloud on the lid, but I want it to be a little bit more subtle, so I went in with a nude. Then taking this beautiful purple shade, I think it's called Poison Plum from Sugar Peel, and applying that to the outer third of my lower lash line, keeping it really tight and close to that bottom lash line area. Then I'm taking this beautiful deep royal blue shadow from the Pride palette and applying that to the inner third of my bottom lash line. Then taking Wisteria, which is this beautiful light purple shade from Makeup Geek, I'm just buffing out that deep purple shade. And then taking some of this light blue shadow from the Pride palette, I'm going to blend out some of that blue shade. Again, I'm not smoking it out too much. I'm just keeping it quite focused on that bottom lash line area. Just so it's nice and smoky and there's no harsh lines. Once you've blended those two shadows seamlessly, I'm going in with some bottom lash mascara. This is the Argan Wear Mascara from Physicians Formula. And I'm applying my lashes Next for my favorite bit, which was the glitter, I'm going in with this beautiful, actually, actually nail art glitter, so it's probably not eye safe, so do proceed with caution. Um, I just got it from eBay, but you can get eye safe glitter as well. It's a beautiful holographic glitter, so it reflects blue, purple, yellow, pink, like it just reflects so many different colors, and I love that so much with this look. 
So I applied it with some lash glue to my inner corners and then applied the glitter on afterwards. And voila, this is the finished eye look, guys. I was so happy with how it turned out. It's such a beautiful, colorful look. It'd be perfect for Pride Day, um, you know, just your everyday shopping, <laughs> whatever you want to wear it with. Um, if you guys did like this look, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. I always find it so helpful so I know what you guys like to see. If you have any requests, please leave them down below for me so I can recreate those looks that you'd like to see. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for your support. It doesn't go unnoticed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.